Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is the first video of the year and it is a collab and it is much excited because it's an anime collab which I'm participating together with I Call Do The DIY, Stefu Doll, The Dolly Geek, His Name Is Akin, Bulky This World, Kiro's Workshop and Witchy Pink. In my last video, I mentioned that my favorite Jujutsu Kaisen characters are Yuji Tatori and Satoru Gojo. And well, now it's the turn of Gojo. The second season has ended and it occurred to me to give him a good tribute with this. Gojo is considered- oh wait, wait. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Gojo is considered in the anime the most powerful Jujutsu Sorcerer, possessing several ritual techniques, which among them are the Infinity and the Seed's Eyes. I really love his silly and serious personality, and of course his design in general. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. For the base, I will use my last BTS J-Hop doll that I had saved in my stock bots. Yeah, I had to get more. His features are very similar to Gojo's which made him perfect for this project. I will start first with his clothes, and for that I will use Gobertin fabric for both pieces of clothing. Since I don't really like to record sewing process, with the magic of editing I will only do this and this. And with that, both pieces are ready. <laughs> For the pants, I use the same pattern as Lloyd pants. And the color of the fabric doesn't convince me very much, since his clothes will have a more purple tone, and I couldn't get fabric of that color, so I'm going to dye it. And for that, I will use a container full of water mixed with purple acrylic paint. I know the process seems a little rustic, but I had done it several times and it worked pretty well. Leaving it this way. The camera makes it not very noticeable, but I can show you that it changed. I even tried with a piece of the fabric, and of course the camera didn't help me either. I sewed some snaps to the code so that the pieces can be close as you can see. And off camera I made him a black sleeveless shirt. I don't know what he's wearing under his coat, so I made him a piece just like Yuji's. Ok, now with the pieces of clothing ready, I'm going to try them on the doll. And it looks horrible. The coat was too big which prevents his waist from showing. The hoodie covered his neck too much and I think I shouldn't have used nuts to close the piece. I hate to say this but I won't be able to use this piece and I'll have to do it again. Ugh. Ok, after having calmed down a bit I decided to fix the pattern that I used for the piece correcting my mistakes. And after sewing and dyeing the fabric again, this is how it turned it out, fixing the waist and hoodie part. And this time I will play it safe and replace this nuts with velcro. And yeah, it was a good idea. I tried it again on the doll and now it looks the way I wanted. Finally I can see his neck. Although I still feel like something is missing. Goyo is a great character who stands out. So I thought of painting the light effect he has using lilac pink. I really liked this effect in the first season, but they toned it down quite a bit in the second. And I decided to replicate it so that the pieces would look so basic and boring. And wow, they stand out a lot. I simply base it on the wrinkles in the fabric and start brushing those areas. I repeated the same process on the fence, leaving them looking like this. I am very glad I had that effort. For these shoes, I will use as always the ones that came with the toe, which I will modify so that they look like finer shoes. And for that I will use my Dremel to remove the details. Remember guys, always use a mask if you are going to do something like this. And this is how it has been left without details. I got out of hand with the other shoe, but that won't matter since I covered them with fabric to make them look like Gojo shoes. With Craftphone I made the soles and I also give them a little shade with the Dremel. Now with black paint mixed with glue I will cover it completely. With glossy varnish I will make it look like leather. 
and with Mad Varnish I will only do the soles. And this is how Gojo shoes turn it out, and they look like leather, and leather of the fine. <laughs> This is what his complete clothes look like, and I must say that I don't plan to work with Gabardine fabric again, since it's very uncomfortable to handle when I'm sewing. But I do admit that I achieved something wonderful with it. I found her wet that I have left over when I made Todoroki, but I decided to do more because I'm going to make two wits for the doll. That's right, just as you heard. First, I'll start with his down hairstyle. As you can see, I already glued the wet and it's just a matter of cutting it. Goyo has an undercut under his neck, so I will go down with the scalpel. After that I give him glue to shade the area better. Also, as an extra detail, I decided to make the gradient effect that his cut has using a lilac watercolor and look more like a natural white. After that I continue cutting layer by layer only using the scalpel. With the hair already wet, I take the opportunity to style it with the help of my sculpting tool. I think I'm too detailed every time I do this part. <laughs> and off camera, I already fit it with hairspray as not to lose the shape. I'm very proud of this result. The style has an undiable turn it and wonderful. Very well, with that I continue with the second wig, which will be with the hair up. As you can see, I already cut it, made sure that is the set length of the first wig. If I'm not wrong, his hair will look like this if I pass the brush. I'm going to leave his hair for a minute and continue working with his mask, and to do that I cover the head again with plastic wrap. I only use masking tape to cover the eye and forehead area. With that I already draw the shape of the mask on top on the masking tape, so I can get the powder. The same powder I already cut it and passed it on paper so I can transfer it on this black elastic fabric, which off camera I sew it by hand looking like this. And wow, it was easy to do. Returning to the doll, this is what the mask will look like in his eyes. I'm so excited because he's taking shape little by little. Um, I noticed that when Goyo use his mask, you can see that he doesn't have too much forehead. So I decided to add more hair to that area for a better result. With the mask already made, I can now better define his hairstyle when I style it. And with that, this is how the second week of Goyo turned it out. Sometimes I think that I should make a single video tutorial on how to make anime with for dolls. Um, it would be a bad idea, actually. And with this, I can also say that his face is ready. Nah, just kidding. I already cleaned his face with acetone, and just like I did with Yuji, I'm going to eliminate the marks on his eyes using the Dremel again, so I can draw more freely. And of course, I gone too far with that again. But with a little white epoxy and super glue, I fix it, and it looks like if I hadn't done anything. After covering with paint of the same color as the doll skin and three coats of MSC, I begin to draw the baseline of Gojo's eyes. I must say that the first time I saw him, I thought he was blind because he covered his eyes. And no, it's just part of his ritual. And I also think he does it to cover his beauty. <laughs> And this is how he looks. I didn't draw many lashes so that his face wouldn't look very feminine. I mean, I know he's a handsome man, but I don't want to go overboard with that detail either. After another layer of spray, I start to apply the blush along contouring certain areas. With that, I begin to apply the base colors of his eyes using light blue. I 
After that I apply black pencil to the eyelashes. It is not necessary but I do it just out of habit. With dark brown pencil I define the lines of his face more. Gojo is albino so his eyelashes have to be clear and for that I will go over him with lilac watercolor with a fine brush. I use this color because it complements well with white. And this is how his eyelashes look and even more so after having using a little more white in them. I decided to make him smile showing his teeth since that makes him look more cocky and more gojo. <laughs> As an extra detail, I will use my Cosmo Glaze paint on his eyes to give him a glow effect and try to recreate his glowing eyes when he used one of his ritual techniques. With white Posca, I made the white dots of his eyes. With white paint, I painted his head which I protected with matte varnish. And with glossy varnish, I protected the rest that I worked it on. And this is how it turned it out. It is the first time I done white lashes and it has been incredible and even more so having complimented them with lilac. This is how he will look with his hair and wow he looks so good with that hairstyle. And this is how he will look with the other wig. No, uncover his beauty. But in the same way he looks good too. <laughs> and with that his face is ready. But wait, I not done yet guys. I can finish this doll without first modify his hands. I hate how the hands of the BTS doll has a such a basic pose and not at all dynamic. And thanks to my video tutorial that will change. If you have time please check it out. First I will pass the scalpel between the fingers very carefully so as not to cut them. Leaving the cut this way as you can see. I want the right hand to have the pose that Goyo does when he uses his domain expansion, something like this. So what I will do next is submerge the hand in hot water and wait between 35 to 40 seconds. After take it out, I mold the fingers, try to make the pose I want, and then submerge the hand again, this time in cold water waiting for the same amount of time. Stay in this way, the process can be repeated if you want the finger to be more united. I only made the left hand in a pose with the fingers kinda open looking kinda dynamic. I will give them some blush as an extra detail and also so that they had some realism. So that they look this way. And with that Satoru Gojo is ready. Now let's see the final photos. Despite having that problem with the clothes, I'm very happy with this result. And with that adult for being my first time doing white lashes. It has been excited and somewhat stressful. I mean, it's a Toru Gojo. I needed to do justice to his beauty and more when it comes to repainting it. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. And also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. The link to my coffee page is in the description of the video. If you want to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to watch the videos that my friends made. They all done an excellent job with their anime dolls. And it would be a big mistake not to see how they made them. So what are you waiting for? That's all for today guys. My name is Eric and I'll see you next time. Bye!